My name is Chukuka Chinyere. I'm a mom of two sweet boys living with autism. I actually learned of the program online. I've actually been following Mrs. Buki Ayinde of the Diary of Special Needs Mom. So we had today we had to come and learn about skills acquisition. As a mom of a child living with special needs, we, finance is the key. Because of the challenges they face, we need lots of finance money to be able to take up their needs. So today, I actually learned a lot from the program. One being our mindset, we had to, I have, we had to change our mindset a lot. The challenges is here. So moving forward, what do we do? I learned a lot of how to, the skills to acquire to, so as to help my child, so as to help the needs of my child. Also, I learned on how to manage money and also ideas on how to promote my business. Ms. Aide is someone who um, has really challenged me and her story really inspired me. And um, when she came up with this initiative, I, I thought this is a very brilliant plan of how I can empower myself in being a better mom. My name is Lamidi Muminos Okweyemi. I have a son, four years of son living with cerebral palsy. I learned this program on social media and I've been following up this since then. Then I learned a lot yesterday about financial literacy, mindset, and how to be realistic on your business and how to grow it. My name is Bolanle Mustafa. I'm a mother of Lawa Mustafa, 14 years old, live with Spana Bafida. She is in just two now. I'm invited here. I'm very happy to be here. And I learned a lot here, how to manage money, how to manage my business, and how to take care of my child. I'm very happy to be here. My name is uh, Blessing Kinsley. I'm a mother to a seven-year-old beautiful daughter with cerebral palsy. I learned about this program on social media, on Facebook, and I came here and I've learned a lot. I've really learned a lot. And I want to say a very big thank you to the founder of Diaries of Special Needs Mom. We say a very big thank you. And she has always been a part of my daughter's life. My name is Haro Deayodele. I have a son with cerebral palsy. He's going to be nine in August this year. Um, I thank God for attending this meeting, I mean, this great event. I have learned a lot, right from how to manage my money, how to invest, and how to collaborate with others, even to become somebody in life how to work on my passion, how to work on things that are of good interest to me and I will still bring in money. So I have really learned a lot today and mingle and coming, I mean meeting others in the same shoe has been a great pleasure for me. And I really want to thank them for organizing something like this and I wish them the best. Um, I've actually learned quite a lot from these mothers. One of the main things is the fact that they are strong and they've chosen to be strong for their children, for their families and to make this world a better place for these wonderful kids. Despite the physical, the emotional, the financial pressures that come with raising children with special needs, these women have taken time out and um, they, are, they are giving everything it takes to ensure that these children have a good life. I mean, if we continue like this, these mothers being independent and making themselves first happy and then the children happy as well, we're going to have a, a wonderful and fantastic nation as time goes on. I was a facilitator in this event, just concluded event. It was talking about, we had to speak to mothers who had children with special needs to empower them. I told them my story, how my embellishment started. So I love programs like this. 
It's moving mothers from a side of pity party to a side to a side of strength. So the essence of this program is to empower them financially, mentally, and then help them to fulfill their dreams, even though they have children living with special needs. My name is Bukola Inde. I'm the founder of Dara for Special Needs Mom Initiative, which is registered under P413 Foundation. I have a daughter, Oluwalo Dimiya Inde. She's six years old and she's living with cerebral palsy. And um, my initiative actually decided to train women on skill acquisition. The whole idea started because I'm also a special needs mom. As a special needs advocate in Nigeria, and in talking with women who have children with special needs, um, I've realized that one reoccurring issue is finances. Having to take care of a child with special needs is not easy living in Africa, especially in Nigeria. I mean, the therapies cost a lot of money, uh, mobility equipment cost money, having to even get balanced meals cost money. And most of the women are unable to work and sometimes they are single mothers because the husband is no longer in the picture. And I realized that there was a need to mentor women and to also train on skill acquisition while collaborating with other entrepreneurs in Nigeria. So today, this is the first stage of um, a period of three months training, which we've started. Today, we're able to bring together 15 mothers who have children living with special needs and they've learned different things. They've heard stories from different entrepreneurs on how they started their own businesses. They've been taught how to raise seed money. They've been taught how to, um, the importance of financial independence. And the next stage, which is the stage two, is to attach them with different entrepreneurs for a month where they can learn different skills that they have identified, that they want to learn. My hope is that from this program, that there will be mothers who can be financially independent, who can work from home, earn some money, and be able to take care of their children. Disability is a medical condition, and nobody prays for it. However, when a mother has a child with disability, it comes with a lot of responsibilities, and sometimes challenges. Having a child with disability is not a death sentence. When you calm down and you've gotten yourself, you can still take care of your child and fulfill your dreams. Let's love without boundaries. Thank you.